Hi, I'm Lois Vogel Sharp. Today is January 19th, 2019. And I received this message from the Father this morning. It's so loving that you just have to just listen to every word that he says. So I'm, I'm going to read it. I'm going to read it slow so that you could just take in everything that he's saying to us. Because this is about his love for us. And it's something that we need to understand and know as we come to times that are going to be kind of trying for us. And every trial and tribulation that you go through, you need to know God loves you because that's what gets us through it all. I got this at 6.28 a.m., okay? And um, it's starting to snow here. We have uh, Storm Hopper coming in, which means has something to do with musician. I just looked up the name. Um, and it's supposed to dump like 12 to 20 inches in our area. We're in the Catskills. Um, so I want to get this done before we start getting hit with the snow. While you sleep, I can see you in your dreams. I can feel your every heartbeat while you are in a world of dreams and visions. You know nothing of where I exist and where I function as your God. My heaven is so far beyond what you can even imagine that your mind would be boggled down for generations even trying to figure out where my realm of reality is. You, my creation, are in my heart. You are in the very core of my existence and yet you feel so far from me. If you truly knew how much I love you, each of you would be gathered up to my throne immediately for your fleshly bodies would but fall to the ground as your spirit soared up to me. You would have no more flesh because that is the part of your being that keeps you bound to the earth in which I placed you. You truly do not fully understand your true potential as my children. Yeshua did and he walked with me and in me on the earth and showed you clearly who I was and yet many could not receive him. You find it so hard to believe you are loved. Why, or oh why do you not see that you are my children and I am your father? Can I show you any more plainly than I did the day our lives were laid down on the cross to set you free from evil's once grip on your souls? You have been given the true keys to my kingdom through Yeshua, who took your place. He was the only man to ever walk in the earth and not fall prey to sin. He won the battle between good and evil on the cross for your very souls. Will you accept this sacrifice today and receive my love for you? Not look at your past, do not look at your present, and do not hold onto your future. Take but a moment of your existence and grab tight to my love for you and never let it go. Your lives depend on knowing how very much you are a part of me. We are one in my love and can you see that in the middle of your sorrows can you see that in the midst of your pain and can you see that in your soul of anguish for all you have been through that you do not understand the why my love is the very force that will lift you up to meet my son in the air the angels will gather you up in a moment of time in what you all call the twinkling of an eye and you will be ready to meet your groom there is nothing that can ever separate you from my love. And the word tells it plainly in scripture, for neither death nor life, nor principalities, nor rulers of the darkness can separate you from my love. Nothing can and nothing ever will. For I have grabbed you from death to life and you are sealed in my heart for eternity. Take my love and hold it in your heart and never let it go, for the enemy looks to take that very emotion from you every day. Step into my kingdom and stay there so you can function with me and show the world who I am. I am that I am, and I will continue to shine my light through the darkness that is trying to consume mankind. My light shines from each of you, whether you are ill, whether you are in pain, and even whether you are bound in sin. My love is sealed in your heart and cannot be stolen. So hold on tight for the ride is about to excel and you are right on the top of the roller coaster, ready to go over. You are at a precipice and, have, and I have spoken this again. I love you and I always will. 
your Father who art in heaven. And that's what I got. And while I'm reading this to you, the sun keeps shining. It hasn't shined all morning. It kept coming out on and off while I was reading this to you, as if God's saying, yeah, my light shines, my light shines, even in the midst of the storms of life. You know, I want to tell a little quick story. Years ago, I was in my 20s, and um, I was in my mother's apartment downstairs. She used to travel, and I used to take care of things. So I happened to be downstairs in the apartment one day, and this came to my mind this morning, and I had a really bad headache. I wasn't feeling well. I just was dealing with this headache. And I just felt moved at that moment to just start to praise the Lord. And I did, and I started praising the Lord, and I got so into worshiping the Lord, I started to dance around in the kitchen, praising the Lord and the Father, and I was thanking God for everything. And I just totally stepped out of the realm of being weighed down by this headache, and it like, I forgot about it while I was praising the Father and Jesus, and I realized it disappeared. I had the headache for hours, and it just totally disappeared, and it just never came back after that, because I stepped into a spiritual realm, and that was not able to stay there anymore to weigh me down. When we step out of the flesh, and we step into the Spirit of God, all right, it's a totally different walk. And that's what he's looking to do with his people. He wants us to know that he loves us so much that we stop focusing on everything that's going wrong in our lives and everything that weighs us down, and we just step into the realm of his love. And it's a totally different walk that you walk when you know you're loved by God because nothing, nothing can steal that from us. The Bible says it, nothing, absolutely nothing. Even when a storm is headed in your direction, we have no idea how bad it's going to be, but God tells us he's in the midst of the storms and he will direct our path in every single situation that we're in. We have to step into his kingdom. He's looking for us to step into his kingdom. And the key is Jesus. Jesus. Except accepting him as your savior and the Lord of your life. He's given us his name to use against every manner of evil in this world. So, I'm Lois Vogel Sharp, and um, I love you all, and thank you for all the things that you send me, the little gifts and the little things. I treasure every one of them. So have a blessed day, and um, I'll be back when he sends me back again.